All right, cool. Hopefully you can hear me. Forgot to wash my hat again. So I'm just gonna leave the, uh, the mic on my shirt today. But uh, <laughs> you just missed something incredibly funny. Uh, I had to reformat the SD card so the clip's lost, but I actually started recording before and I, I was filling up my water bottle with the EAAs, but I forgot to take a sip out of it. And because they fill the water bottles here up to the brim, there was no room for the EAAs to kind of fall into the bottle. It was just sitting there at the top. I just had to kind of, yeah, drink it down pretty much like a, a dry scoop of pre-workout. It was nasty, but anyhow, um, take number two. I've got a bit of space in the water bottle now, water jug. I've had a few sips, so yeah. Here's to uh, attempt number two. But basically, uh, today it's Saturday. Tonight it's Saturday, 7 p.m. And I'm doing what was meant to be yesterday's training session. So yesterday, uh, last minute, kind of spur of the moment, uh, the partner and I had to move into a different room in our apartment building because we couldn't extend the stay in our current one. It had been booked out um, from today pretty much. So uh, I booked a different room and we spent the better half of the, uh, the night just moving, packing all our stuff and moving down a few levels into a better room, might I add. It's a lot better. We've got two, um, two key cards to the room now. So we don't have to rely on one, which means that I'll be able to return to doing my AM PM sessions as of tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. And if I can handle it tomorrow, I'll just continue doing that throughout the like course of next week and just the foreseeable future. Um, basically, same way I was training before I left Australia. Um, big body part in the morning and then the smaller body part in the evening. So I've had like say, chest, shoulders, triceps. Um, I've had a push day. I do chest uh, in the morning and then shoulders and triceps in the evening. Um, and if I had legs, I'd be doing glutes, hamstrings in the morning and quads in the evening. Um, that, that sort of thing, you get the gist. But um, yeah, I'll try all that out again tomorrow. And uh, if it goes well, fares well, I'll continue with it. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing yesterday's session today, pretty much. That was my long-winded way of saying that, essentially. Now that the uh, EAAs are all assembled, Time to uh, try to get in there and hit some back and biceps. Pretty, uh, pretty step forward session. Like same as last week. The narrow, not narrow, sorry, uh, shoulder width now. Uh, so the wide parallel pull downs. Um, some CD cable rows. Um, some. Um, was it uh, machine rows, pin loaded rows. And then after that, it's some rear delts and some biceps, uh, preacher curls and uh, uh, Bayesian curls and biceps today. And the rear delts, I'm just doing that rear delt high row, um, that, that machine that I've been using the last couple of weeks. So yeah, it should be good. Again, slightly lower volume than I usually do because it is a maintenance block. So pretty much just like one less set on everything. Uh, compared to my normal volume load, and yeah, let's get in there and uh, hit some hit some back and biceps. Yeah. Right, so I'll do uh, one warm up set and then dive into the working sets. But on the warm up set, I'll just like take my time, sort of like uh, I don't know if I've actually showed you how to do a warm up set on this exercise or any kind of like vertical pull for the back. But basically, I'll just use about like 50 to 65 percent of like the load I'll be working with for my working sets and I just pump out a few reps. Then I'll do like a bit of a dead hang at the top, a bit of a pause at the peak contraction on the next rep. Just kind of feel it out essentially. Just try to direct as much blood flow to the target muscle as possible. And then I'll yeah, have like a 30, 60 second rest and I'll do the first working set. So, cause I'm doing about 180 pounds for the working weight. I'm just gonna do like 100, 120 pounds for the warm up set. Yeah, probably even though I'm doing like high reps for the working sets, like I probably only do like half the reps that I'm going to do for the actual working sets on my warm up.
And yeah, bit of a rest and onto the first working set. Just gonna check what I got last week. So last week I got hundred and eighty for eighteen, sixteen, fifteen. So if we can match that this week, I'll be pretty happy. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. All right. I'm gonna put that up a notch. Now I hope I'm in range right now. Hopefully the uh, camera is not cropping my head off. But uh, yeah, pull down's all done now. It's time for two sets of uh, cavalry here. So last week I did number 10 for uh, 14, 14. So this week I'll do number 10 again, aiming for 14 or 15 reps. No warm up because I'm already warm, of course.
Fifteen. Something about Cybex equipment that I really, really like, eh? It's just, I don't know. Cybex just seems to nail it. Hit the nail on the head almost every time with their equipment. At least with the earlier stuff there. More recent stuff, not, not so good. But uh, this is a old school Cybex cable row. And it feels min. One more set of them and then it's uh, on to the third and final back exercise. Have a bit of my super secret hydration formula. That isn't actually super secret by the way. But no shit, you saw me prepare it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, aim for another set of 14 to 15. Minimum 14, ideally 15. I underperformed a little bit on the um, the pull downs before. I only got, it was 13 reps in the third set. Uh, whereas I got 15 last week, but in all fairness, I got an extra rep on set number two, which would have pre-fatigued me a little bit going into that. And also had a shorter rest interval, so I'd say. I haven't PB'd, even though I got an extra rep on the second set. I'd say I probably just matched last week's performance. I've just done it in a slightly different distribution pattern because I got an extra rep on the second set, but I fell short two reps on the third. I'll be, it's just a, yeah, another week. It is how it is sometimes. And yeah, sometimes it's just a, a fight to match what you hit last week. But um, as long as you're not going backwards, that's the main thing. done so I uh, put the machine right now and it's only two sets of that then on to redelts finally my back's always been really responsive and I did say that in the last pool session um, so for that reason when I go back down to like a maintenance block I can really pull the volume back on my back training and still maintain if not still slowly progress and grow the tissue so I use that to my advantage, keep the volume considerably lower on my back so I have more to petition across the remainder of my body for those less, I suppose, responsive body parts. Yeah. See you over there at the uh, next back exercise. Now I'm not entirely sure what settings were the right settings for this machine. Because the last time I was an idiot and I didn't write it down, like I usually do, I usually write it down, but I'm just going to have to guesstimate and see how it feels and if it's wrong, change it. But unlike pressing machines, with rowing machines, you know instantly if it's not set right because it feels horrible. Um, if you do a press 
like a pressing machine and it's not set quite to the usual settings. It'll still feel half decent a lot of the time, but with back, you won't get away with that. Like if it feels off, or if it is off, I should say, it will feel off, like period. All right. second and final set I just moved the seat like a notch forward so it's not as much of a stretch so I'm struggling to actually reach the handles on that first set that's not ideal no it is not Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to film my bicep training tonight because this is my last battery and it's on 3% and I don't have my uh, attachment for my phone to put on a tripod so I can't even switch to my phone. So if this is the last clip that you see, just know that I also did biceps and uh, yeah, two more sets of this as well. I've got three sets of this and then three sets of preachers, three sets of Bayesian curls and then that is it. So yeah, hopefully I'll just get at least one of these sets recorded before it dies on me. Definitely won't make that uh, mistake again next week. I'll make sure that I fully charge my batteries before every session, but obviously moving and all yesterday, it was a little bit of a uh, curveball thrown in the mix. Okay, so I'm in a race against time to hopefully get one set of my first bicep exercise recorded. <laughs> 1% battery, see how I go.
Ugh. <sighs>